Hey guys, Wet Movie One here, and it's time to go hoard up, baby. What the hell? This is not my fucking background. This is video games. I don't really know shit about video games. Chrono Tiger. Earthbound. I don't know this shit. Oh, Barbie Supermodel. I think I know someone that might want this. Barbies. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, the round one, Mr. Fluffy Gamer. And it's time for another week of pickups. This week was really kind of dry. There was nothing out there. But when it comes down to it, there's always Leo, and th this week I actually bought some really quality titles. Um, there's only a couple of them, so this is going to be a really short uh, pickup video. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, and the first game that I got was uh, Mario Golf for the N64. Pay 15 bucks. Not, that's about what it goes for, but nice clean copy. Glad to have it. Thank you very much, Leo. Uh, the next one that I picked up, uh, I picked up one of the the, the Sega Master games, uh, Space Harrier 3D for ten bucks. That's a good deal because this goes for about twenty five to thirty bucks online. Uh, definitely glad to have this one. I believe this is part of that lot that uh, Leo got when he got the eighty games for three hundred bucks. This one that I picked up. GameCube. Um, I don't know why this game is also available on the Wii, but for some reason, people really love to have it on the for the GameCube. Um, not sure why. Maybe you guys can leave comments below. That way, I, I can figure it out because I never could. Uh, but that is the Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. Forty bucks. This sells easy for 50 online, and this is by far one of the cleanest games I've ever seen on the GameCube. I mean, it is super, super clean. Clean. And the disc, man, it's a little dirty. It's a little dirty, but there is absolutely no scratches on that motherfucker. Yeah. So... I know Leo got this for 35 bucks off of Lewis, um, so I figured he, you know, he'd want to have a little bit of profit. But I was, I managed to get it for only four, for 40 bucks, which is still a great deal. So uh, he made out, I made out. I think I made out better. He made a five dollar profit. I made a great purchase. And uh, this one, I'm really excited to get. Um, the funny thing is, I'll probably never play it. Um, but that is uh, one of the har one of the more rare games on the uh, N64, and that is uh, Harvest Moon '64. Now I actually paid fifty bucks for it, but it's a very clean copy and very well worth it. Um, that's all I got out there at the Kobe Swap Meet this week. But uh, a buddy of mine, Martin, who also has his own YouTube channel now, his own gaming channel, uh, where he does Let's Plays and he shows pickups and stuff like that, he collects nothing but the best games. He's And he's got a pretty nice collection. Um, in fact, he's the one that... Um, that I was going to buy the Chrono Trigger box off, but it turns out he had the game to sell with it as well. So in, in the end, Leo picked it up for... He got it for 110 bucks, which is a f great deal. Inbox... Um, but he did actually hook me up with a very cool Nintendo controller, and I actually just picked this up a couple weeks ago for three bucks, and, he, oh, no, 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 nope, I didn't pick it up for three bucks, I picked it up for ten bucks, he found this for three bucks, and he doesn't have the 64, he's not collected for the N64, and he was with me when I found the other controller for ten bucks, and I think he kind of bought it for me, and, um, he surprised me with the, another N64 Plus controller. 
or I'm sorry, the, yeah, and the 64 Plus Super Pad. I was actually using this the other night, uh, playing video games with Wet Movie One and Cinestalker. We were playing uh, Mario 64. We were playing some Super Smash Brothers, and uh, we even put in some hang time. We played like a full four quarter, uh, with just me and Brendan. Um, and Brendan, as sad as it is to say, he kicked my ass. Uh, he kicked my ass in Mario Kart 64. Uh, he definitely kicked my ass in Super Smash Brothers, and he, it was really close in the hang time game, but in the end, him and the computer player, they, like, went off on me, and I think I lost by, like, 10 points, but it was a lot of fun, it was really cool of Wet Movie 1 to actually come all the way down here to hang out with us, uh, he ended up staying a couple nights over here at my pad, um, so it was really cool, uh, definitely am looking forward to him coming down again, and, uh, doing a lot more stuff with him down here, um, but uh, I did get one more thing in the mail that I ordered off of eBay, which I, I played this game over at Leo's on his modded Xbox. I thought it was a fucking platformer, but apparently it's more of like a puzzle game. It kind of reminds me of like Pikmin in a way, but a really shitty version of Pikmin. And um, it, it was a really clean copy. I was at this pl a video game place in Chula Vista. I think it's called Chula Vista Video Games. And the dude has crazy prices he bases it off of amazon and he wants high high price for it so right in front of him i you know he wanted 30 bucks for this and i was like well these go for about 20 and he's like um and he, and he goes oh, i'm seeing 30 and I, I immediately pulled out my app my ebay app i'm like look these are the sold listings 20 20 20 i went to the actual sales for people that were selling the games and there was one buy it now and it was complete it has all the inserts everything it had more it was more complete than the one that the guy had at the store and this was only 16.99 You know, I'm kind of glad I have this, but not really. Um, so probably just going to sit on my shelf and look pretty. But what really made me feel good about ordering this thing was showing that fucking asshole at the Chula Vista video game store. And by the way, if you ever see this video, fuck you. Your store ain't going to last long. Because guess what? Luna's is planning on opening up a store in your area. So you are going to be out of business real soon. And you deserve to be because your prices suck. Your prices suck. So, but that is all I got for the week. Um, again, Wet Movie 1, thank you for coming down. I know you came down here to you hang out with everybody else and stuff like that, but I'm, it was really cool that you were able to stay here, and I got to hang out with you for a little bit, play some video games. Uh, but until next time, guys, I am the Fluffy Gamer, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.